My. Oh, hey, Catherine. You scared me. So, you know how you left the party early, right? Yeah. Did I miss out on something? Well, it was actually a pretty good thing that you left because you won't believe what happened last night. Oh gosh, what happened? I don't know how to say this without freaking you out, but somebody got murdered. What? Yep, you heard it right. Oh my gosh, now I'm relieved that I left. How did it happen? Like, do you know who got murdered or anything like that? Well, here's what I remember. So about an hour or so after you left, the party began to wind down. So that meant a lot of people were leaving and Isabella was clearing out the guests. Sydney and I wanted to stay and help her clean up the house, since it was a pretty big mess after the party. Uh-huh. We were going through pretty much every room of her house to see if there was any mess left in there because there were a lot of people at the party. But that's when Isabella found a dead body in the downstairs bedroom. know who it was? My assumption is that it's probably somebody from another school who was invited to the party. Since I did not recognize them, and I know pretty much everybody at this school. Were they a boy or a girl? Girl. Okay, well, do you know how they died? We took a close look at them, and it appears that they've been stabbed three times. This is absolutely awful! I cannot believe this happened. I know, and now I'm kind of nervous because we don't know who did this. Um, excuse me, what are you girls doing outside of class? Shoot, we must have never noticed class started. Um, I'm sorry, miss. We'll head to class now. Can we talk more about this at lunchtime? Yeah. See ya. Hey, you heard what happened at Isabella's party last night, correct? Yep, Catherine told me all about it. I cannot believe it happened, like, out of all the things. We probably shouldn't be talking about it in class, though, because it could draw some unwanted attention. So maybe we could talk about it at lunchtime? Yeah, Catherine actually had that plan, so of course. Hey guys. Hey. Hello. We need to talk about that murder that happened at my house last night. I have a lot to say about it, and I have a few predictions on who might have done it. Is that so? Well then, let's head to the cafeteria. You guys are probably gonna think that I'm really weird for saying this, but hear me out. I have a strange feeling that it was Meadow. Meadow? I don't think Meadow so. Meadow is pretty chill. I don't think he would be capable of murdering anybody. For God's sake, guys, I said hear me out. All right, I'm sorry, but like, what made you think it was him? Yeah, he would always be sitting in the corner, staring at people in a very strange way. Are you sure he wasn't just lonely? Because I know that Meadow doesn't really have that many friends. That's not exactly the weird thing, though. He went downstairs at one point, and then a couple minutes later, he came back up, and he seemed to be in a rush to get home. And remember, downstairs was where we found the dead body. Hmm, let me think. That is a little suspicious. I can kind of see how you'd think that. Hmm, so maybe we should ask him some questions. <clears throat> Meadow, what do you girls want? Mind if we ask you a few questions? About what? So I remember you being at my party last night. Um, yes, my friend invited me, but he didn't show up, so I was all by myself. All right, but what were you up to at that party? Well, since my friend wasn't there, I had nothing else to do than just kind of hang out by myself. Since I was kind of bored, I was walking around the house seeing if there was anything I could do. I headed downstairs to see if there was anything cool down there, but I actually did find something. I saw a body. I'm not too sure if you guys knew that by now. Yes, we know, and we came to ask you if you knew anything about it. Freaked out, I went back upstairs, and I wanted to go home immediately after that. Because I had the sense that there was a murderer at the party. And do you remember what time this happened? Like when you left, and when you saw the body. I think it was like two hours into the party. Hmm, okay. Thank you for your time. Is he the murderer? What did he say? We have a lot to say. Okay, so Catherine, the answer to your question is no. He is not the murderer. But he was actually a witness. He saw the body. And it was way before we saw it. I think I have an idea on when the murder happened. I'm pretty sure it happened earlier in the party, because he said he saw the body about two hours in. Damn, he gave us some pretty good info. Um, Isabella, do you have a list of everybody who came to the party? I do. It's on my phone. I'll go get it. Let's see who we've got here. Hmm. No... Oh no. Wait a second. What? I think I might have just figured out who got murdered. 